Today I want to talk about the concept of shame and shaming in communities. Uh, something that I have observed time and time again when uh, people who are in larger fat bodies or who uh, are marginalized speak out against oppression and stigma, um, we're often accused of shaming uh, the people that we push back against. And I've specifically seen this in, uh, in fat communities, in fat positive communities, uh, but particularly in body positive communities, which is not quite the same thing, and in health at every size communities. Um, and so generally how this works is, excuse me, someone says something that is problematic in some way or, or posts a link that is fat phobic or, or is perpetuating weight stigma in some way. And someone, usually someone in a larger fat body, um, gently says, hey, you know, this, this is, you know, this is really perpetuating weight stigma in this way, so you might want to rethink that. And quite often, the response is, why are you shaming me? You need to stop shaming thin people just for being thin. And, and a lot of other dis defensive responses. Um, but I want, to, I want to look at this shaming aspect really quick. And I think that there are two things, at least two things going on here, but, but two things going on here. Um, one of those things is status. Uh, when we have more privilege than someone else, we are used to thinking of ourselves as being higher status. Um, and an easy example is a healthcare provider and a patient. Um, the healthcare provider is of higher status. Um, social status because of their education, their degree, their position of power in that relationship. Um, and so, so privilege gives us that same status. Um, so when I, as a fat patient, am talking to a healthcare provider, or I, as a large fat person, am talking to uh, a small fat person or someone in an average or thin sized body, um, I am lower status in those relationships. Um, and by relationship, it can just be a momentary exchange, you know, just in that, in that moment of relationship. Um, I am lower status. And I think there is this, um, this concept or this feeling that arises within us when someone lower status challenges us. It not only challenges us in that moment, but it threatens our power. It threatens our status in that relationship. And that is, not only does that feel really bad in that moment, um, it gives us negative feelings, um, but it feels shameful, not only because we feel like we've been caught out doing something wrong, um, but because the way that hierarchies work in our society, um, uh, losing status is shameful. So when someone says, when someone gets pushed back and says, why are you shaming me? Um, what that can mean is, why are you making me feel like I'm losing status? Why are you making me feel like I'm losing power? Um, and, and that's kind of a really crappy thing because <laughs> uh, we should be at equal power. Um, even if it's a healthcare provider and a patient, um, I'm the one who has to carry out the instructions. I'm the one who has the lived experience. I'm the one who's paying you money or my insurance company is. So, and, and, and you know, these, these relationships should be equal. So the fact that they're not equal in the first place is kind of your problem to start with. Um, but, but I think that's where some of this shaming can come from. Um, and the other part is displacement of discomfort um, is the second thing. Um, and of course, these tie together closely. But when, when I am uncomfortable, I feel discomfort. Um, particularly when someone who is lower status than I am has pushed back against me, um, it can be easier to displace my comfort, my discomfort, my shame onto the, the other person than it can be to deal with it myself. So when I am challenged and I say, why are you shaming me? Why are you shaming whatever group of people? Um, this can be an attempt to, to displace that comfort back on discomfort back onto the person who cre created it um, to, to sort of say, no, I shouldn't be ashamed. You should feel bad because you try to make me feel bad. And the fundamental flaw in this, in this impulse 
Um, and, you know, and people aren't necessarily doing this on purpose. This is just the way that people react when challenged. Um, but the fundamental flaw in this is that if you're doing something crappy, you should feel bad and you should stop and you should change. And so when someone who is marginalized or oppressed or lower status than you socially pushes back, they're giving you a chance to change. They're giving you a chance to step back and say, oh, I am furthering oppression. This person is giving me a chance to stop. They're giving me a gift um, rather than this sort of defensive challenging. But I think, I think these are some of the uh, subconscious motivations when we see these, these shaming comments.